Hey, sis, did you know that if you make a wish on a shooting star three times before it burns out, then the wish will come true? If so, then our wish will definitely come true. That red shooting star won't be burning out. At least, not until this plant's final day. Our wish. It is the year 2200X. Humans have improved their way of living with EM wave technology. However, the world has recently fallen into great peril twice. The first time, Earth was infiltrated by aliens from Planet FM. The second time, the evil scientist Vega tried to take over the Earth with the power of the ancient civilization known as Mu. But twice, a hero came forth to confront the evil. That hero, or shall we say heroes, are the human boy Dio Stellar and the FMian Omegasis, who together form Mega Man. Thanks to Mega Man, the people of Earth have been able to live safely in peace and happiness. Ah, I'm so excited! Hey, kid! What's up, Mega? People will hear you, so you better keep it down. Don't worry. Everyone's too excited to hear me. What's going on anyway? <laughs> You'll see soon. Does everyone have their mobile terminal ready? Kids, today we'll be upgrading our operating system known as our OS. Alternating such a vital program is quite a big deal. Okay, I'm sending the upgrade program to everyone now. Here we go. Wait, wait a sec. Upgrade? What's going to happen to me? I'm inside the OS. Hmm, I wonder. Hey, kid! Arrgh, there's a ton of data coming in. Awesome! This is the new mobile terminal OS? The user interface is totally different than before! It looks like you've all finished upgrading successfully! So as you can see, your mobile terminal has changed as well. It is now called the Hunter VG. Hunter VG? Awesome! As the development of technology has rapidly progressed, the number of virus-based problems have also increased. The Hunter VG has been designed in order to make virus busting easier. Battle cards that are used to delete viruses have also been made more manageable. Ah, that's why it's called a Hunter. The Hunter VG will now be an essential item in your day-to-day -day life. It comes with many new functions, so try them out when you have a chance. Okay. As I said before, the upgrade has formatted your data, so you'll have to re-input everything. First, you need a new code name. A code name is a nickname that you use when accessing a network. You can choose any name that you like, but nothing naughty, understood? Alright, time to select a code name. Done! Is everyone finished? 
Okay, now I'll explain the pop-up system to everyone. Please get into small groups. Is everyone ready? Okay, I'm going to start the explanation now. As I'm sure everyone already knows, there is a massive amount of information in the world. Actually, there is too much information for people to handle. I so understand that! My room is so messy that I can't find my pets in the morning! It's because your room looks like it got hit by a tornado, bud. You really need to clean it up big time. Watch it, Zack! It's my room! <laughs> Actually, Bud gave a good example. In short, when you need to find something quickly, there is no time to waste. And it's very hard to find what you need in a huge pile of data. The new pop-up system makes finding things much easier. Uh, awesome! Mr. Shepard, when is the pop-up system accessible? Why don't you try talking to the people in your group? Okay, Gio, can you try saying something to me, please? Sure! What's up? Whoa, something popped up on the bottom of the screen. What just appeared on everyone's 100 VJ is called a pop-up. As I said earlier, a pop-up shows you important information. This pop-up is showing who you're talking to. Their school emblem even pops up above. Touching the pop-up will make more information about the person appear. Why don't you try touching the pop-up? Cool! Even if we just met for the first time, I wouldn't know she is Mary McLovin from Echo Ridge Elementary. There are also many other pop-up types. For example, standing in front of an elevator will make choices appear. Touch the desired destination and go there automatically. The more you try it, the quicker you will get used to it. Okay, that's everything for now. If you have questions, about your 100 BG or EM ways, please feel free to ask. Oh, before class ends, I have one last thing I have to mention. The upgrade deleted your brother bands. Don't forget to reform brother bands with your close friends. Everyone be safe on the way home. So my brother bands have been deleted. I better go reform them with Bud, Zack, and Prez. Hey, kid. What's up, Mega? Is it okay if I come out for a bit? What? No way! People will notice if you come out here. It's different now that people can see you. Well, then get us to a place where it won't be a problem. What's the big hurry all of a sudden anyway? I have some questions that I want to ask Mr. Shepard. Go ahead, but let's get out of here ASAP. If you forget anything, just press the L button and I'll help you out. I'll make sure you know what you need to do, got it? Yeah, I got it. So, where's a place I can go to Mega that won't be noticed? Hmm, how about the roof? Sorry for the wait, Mega. You can come out now. Wizard on! Roar! What's wrong? Geo, for crying out loud! Let me know before you ever do something like upgrade your mobile terminal. Huh? Why? What do you mean, why? You should know. Thanks to the recent advancements in wave technology, i become a wizard, which is basically an EM body that is integrated to the mobile terminal. Yeah, of course I know that much. You and the Hunter VG are intimately linked together. Exactly! So if you make a change to the system, then you change me too. Do you think it feels nice to have a ton of data shoved down your gullet? It was terrible. I don't feel so good all of a sudden. S sorry, I didn't think of that. 
No big deal, kid. Just keep it in mind for the future. By the way, have you tried on your visualizer since EM Wave technology has advanced? Huh? Now that you mention it... Well, try them on, kid. When you put on your visualizer, you are able to see the wave road and even EM bodies. Regular people can't see these phenomenon. So can you see anything? Yeah, it works great. If my dad hadn't given me the visualizer, you and I would have met, Mega. Kelvin, your father was a great man, kid. And as they say, like father, like son. Hey, don't compare me to my dad, okay? I need to make my own path in life. <laughs> you sound like you're growing up, kid. Anyway, you should try using the visualizer everywhere. Just press the Y button to use it anytime. Also, you won't be able to see people while you're using it, just EM bodies. Got it. Well, you can kind of see people, but it's pretty difficult. Just be really careful when walking around with the visualizer on. Alright. Ah, a phone call. Oh, Press, what's up? What's up? Don't give me what's up. I can't believe that you just took off like that after class. Uh, I kind of had something. Yeah, yeah. Just come over to the snack shop on the first floor, okay? On the double. Man, she sure is angry with me today. You better get over to the snack shop before she gets any angrier. It's the science club. Is everybody ready? Yes, sir! Ready! Great! Well, let's get started, shall we? We finally completed this small-scale rocket in our lab. At last, we can actually perform the flight test. Huh? What's that sound? Ah! Oh, the sprinkler is out of control! I'm reading a virus somewhere in the area. It's inside a sprinkler cyber core. Everyone, stay calm. We all have hunters and battle cards just for this very occasion, right? Let's take care of the virus together. Take this, cannon, plasma gun, mini grenade. It's no use. If only we had wizards. And we could use battle cards more effectively. Ah, uh, is science worthless? Sir! Woody! We have to protect the rocket. It's the symbol of all of our hard work. Ah! Uh. Whoa! We gotta help them, kid. What do you want to do? How about I hop into the Sprinkler Cyber Core and go buck wild on the viruses? Mm. No, let's get them together. Alright, it's been a while since we've got an EM wave change. Just don't forget to stay frosty, kid. You got it. Let's trance into the Sprinkler Cyber Core. Take it easy, everyone. I can help. What? How can you help? Um, just don't worry about it. It's under control. So, kid, about EM wave changes. Until now, we could only EM wave change in certain areas, but thanks to the recent investment in EM wave technology, we can do it anywhere. Really? Cool. Just cool. Are you even paying attention? Whatever. For now, let's just do this thing. Time to EM Wave Change into Mega Man. Let's do it. 
Oh wait, there's one more thing. Take a look at that. That's the wave station that controls all the EM waves for the school. As Mega Man, we can enter the wave road with it. Got it, Mega. All right. It's EM wave change time. Um. It's not working, Mega. I even yelled and everything. Man, this is so embarrassing. That's really strange. Yelling makes everything work. There's a message coming through the hunter. EM wave chain detected. Satella police accessing. Authenticating. What the heck? This seems pretty serious. Are we in trouble? Hmm. Authentication complete. Registering Geostellar and Omega Sys as EM Wave Change ID 003. ID card issue. Authentication code Mega Man. Upon EM Wave Change, authentication code is now required. What was that? It looks like we were registered with the Satella Police. And that we won't be able to EM wave change so easily anymore. I'm not really sure, but it seems like we need to use the code Mega Man when we EM wave change. Don't worry about it too much for now, okay? Let's do this thing. Use the R button to EM wave change. Then enter the wave road through the wave station. Okay, let's do it. All right, we're all set. Weird. Don't I look a little different to you? Now that you mention it, maybe it's because your mobile terminal turned into a Hunter VG. Don't worry about the little things, kid. Let's go delete those viruses. You got it. The cyber cores of many things are connected to the wave road. You didn't forget, right? We can enter a cyber core by traveling to it on the wave road, right? You can get to the sprinkler system CC from over there. When the access pop-up appears, touch it to the trans into the cyber core. Okay, let's rock! the viruses. They're the cause of the sprinkler problems. Let's tear them up. Okay. They seem angry. I'm pretty fired up myself. It's been a while since our last battle. Alright, here we go. Wave battle right on. Let's go over how to wave battle. We'll start with the bottom screen. This is the custom screen. Six cards are randomly selected from the 30 cards that are in your folder, and then displayed here. Then you select cards to use from those six. Using a card won't make it disappear forever, so don't be scared to use them. However, you can't just use all of the cards on the custom screen. There are rules that decide which cards you can use in combination. Rule number one, cards in the same column can be selected together. It doesn't matter if they're not lined up exactly straight, as long as they're in the same column. Rule number two, three cards in a row can be picked together. It doesn't matter if they're not lined up exactly straight, as long as they're in the same row. Rule number three, cards that have the same name can be picked together, regardless of their position. Can you see the card on the screen that is white? 
Y cards are very useful. They can be paired with any card on the screen. None of the previous three rules apply to them. Got it. But what if I don't know what a card does? There's a description, right? How do I access it? You can use the R button or Y button to see the description. Okay, I think that about sums up the custom screen. Try to select more than two cards, okay? You can select them by touching them as well. Press the OK button now. Finally, it's battling time. Wipe out those bad guys. Oh, but before that, in the bottom left are the cards you select. In the custom screen, in the order that you selected them. And to the right is the name and attack power of the card you can currently use. You can use battle cards by pressing the A button. Holding down the B button will fire the Mega Buster constantly without delay. The A button for battle cards and the B for Mega Buster. Got it. And that's my HP up in the top left, right? Correct the moon though. And it's game over for us if it drops to zero. The gauge in the top right is called a custom gauge. These custom gauge fills up as time passes. Once the custom gauge is full, you can return to the custom screen by pressing the L button or the R button. So even if I use all six of my cards, I can get more from the custom screen. Exactly. So are you all set, kid? It's time to practice. Yeah, I'm ready. Time to go buck wild. All right. All right, next up I'll cover how to lock on and the mega attack. Select two sword type cards, will ya? You're ready, right? Good, it's explanation time. The Mega Attack is a combination attack between you and I. Yeah, I remember. First, I press down on the control pad, then I'll switch into lock-on mode. Right. Pressing down on the control pad switches you into lock-on mode. This will make arrows appear and point in three directions. If you see the arrows, then you are in lock-on mode. So, while in lock-on mode, a round side will appear on. Any enemies directly or diagonally in front of you. That's called a lock-on sight. Try using a sword once a lock-on sight appears. We'll rush up to the enemy and attack it thanks to my awesome speed. First, press down the control pad. Then, when a round sight appears, press the A button. Got it. The last one. Don't let your guard down, kid. Up next, I'll explain about countering and bonus cards. If you land a card attack on an enemy just as they are about to attack, that's a counter. That'll catch them off guard, paralyzing them for a time. You will also receive a bonus card for doing so. Usually, you can only use cards. You select on the costume screen, but if you let a counter, then you'll be rewarded a bonus card. Bonus cards are chosen from your card folder at random. Even so, they're great because you don't have to wait for the custom gauge to fill up before going buck wild on the enemy. But you can get another bonus card if you pull up a counter with a bonus card. Countering is pretty hard to pull out, so you should work on your timing for a bit. Try to use a bonus card to leave all the enemies in one turn. I want to say understood, but it's been a while since I last battled. It might take a little bit for it all to come back to me. What does it feel like I've heard that before? Oh well, just this once. I'll help you with the timing, but just this once, you hear? 
I can't, can't focus, focus on the battle, battle if uh, I'm trying, trying to tell you what to do all the time. Thanks, Mega. Yeah, 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 so this is how I'll help you with the counter timing. I'll stick an arrow on top of the head of the enemies that can be countered. You'll achieve a counter if you hit the enemy while the arrow is still over his head. There are battle cards that hit the enemy right away. But there are also ones that take more time to hit enemies, so do your best to make battle cards hit the enemy while the arrow is still over its head. Got it. I'm ready to try it out. That's all of them. The sprinkler should be working fine now, right? You should go brag to everyone. I just turned into Mega Man and deleted all the viruses. Come on, be serious. I want to try my best to keep the fact that I'm Mega Man a secret. It was crazy enough with Press Button and Zack finding out. You're too shy, kid. Anyway, let's pulse out of here. Press the R button to change back to normal and return to the real world. Fighters, come on,